Hi everybody, welcome back to Ukrania Gaming, I am Andrew, and today we play some more Hearts of Iron Four Nords that back with the Soviet Union. In the last episode, we waited and waited and waited on, <laughs> on the side of the river, the Dnieper and Daugava, and it, it, it paid off. It paid off because, as you can see, Germany cannot push anymore into Russian territory, and we are just uh, now waiting and seeing how... The German army will lose patience and uh, equipment and uh, everything in the attempt of kicking out the allies from the south. And then we will see what happens. So, very important, we ban the excessive hero worship, which gives us uh, a discount on the diplomacy categories and 15% stability points, which are translated into the maximum amount of stability. And this provides us a very, very, very high um, boost in terms of, uh, of everything. Leader of the party would give us even better... Nah, I, I think I don't need this at the moment. I really don't need it. What I would need, for sure, the Middle East diplomacy. I want to do it later on. I would need the lessons of war, but we cannot unlock them yet. So let's unlock the PC of mechanical engineering. Let's do this. And then we move to the Leningrad um, University, so we will have the fifth uh, research line. Now, I want to see this discount. Unfortunately, it's not apl applicable to the adjunct prop. Fine. But... Uh, um, so... W where is it applicable? Diplomacy? I don't know. I really don't know. Not that, I, not that it's going to change my life, but I was curious. Uh, maybe propaganda. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't care. Let's go. Let's move to the research. So the advanced centimetric radar will give us the possibility uh, to improve our radars, and I'm going to do it. Then we have the streamlined line, the dispersed industry, and the Petliakov P810. Uh, In six days, we will start building strategic bombers and uh, also fighters to escort them. Yes, wonderful. And now we move to the infantry because I would really like to... May, may I maybe improve my mountaineers? Or let's, let's, uh, let's work on the motorized infantry, guys. Motorized and... Uh, yeah, motorized and uh, mechanized are the future. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's take now also this airplane, please, now. And we no longer get the effect of desperate measures. Okay, so now we could take lessons of war. Wonderful. And we can also work on the new airplane. By the way, now we go and we produce the strategic bomber. We give more reliability, more bombing. And range, so we have bombing, so you can bombing at forty nine point five. Um, yes, can I boost also the engine? Yes, I can. The reliability probably will decrease now. More agility and more speed. Let's save this variant. So the P A ten. Where is this now? Huh. Here, it costs the same. And let's create already a line with five uh, factories. At the moment, we have 107 civilian. We keep building civilians and then we will move to the military very soon. Very soon. Actually, I think it, it's going to be now. <laughs> I changed my mind. I need more military factories. Then I will go back maybe to civilians, but later on. Later on. Okay, and beside of that, uh, so the focus is mechanical engineering. We can do it, uh, and then we will move into the lessons of war, which are amazing because they will make our army definitely more um, dangerous. Aha, and I forgot, I can build now an extra radar in, uh, in all those regions. Giving priority to this. And this extra radar will provide us with more um, intel. 
So if I go now to the radar here, static anti-air hit chance factor plus 20% and plus 1% coordination, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Having the control of the skies is key. And in Ukraine, it's as always a little, uh, a little problem time by time. That's why now we release those fighters. into groups of 240 and they have to protect Ukraine. We need to work also on, um, on oil, as you can see. We definitely need to work on oil. What I will do, I'm going to build some synthetic refinery um, and, and, and then I need to study also the oil technology. That's the only thing I can do. I'm not releasing Kurdistan, absolutely not. Good. Okay, I could change the extensive conscription, but the manpower so far works. So I'm going to take... You know that I would take probably uh, this guy would decrease the stability by 5% but I have the maximum and I would have a better intel or crucial fuel per right plus 5 ah. I really don't know or maybe I just have to try to get a better oh, I'm, I, I, I'm not sure what I want to do I'm not so sure. Let's wait for the lessons of war. In the meantime, um, we need to build some synthetic refineries where uh, our infrastructure is very high and where we can build more than one. For example, Leningrad can build uh, a level two synthetic refinery. Let's do it. It will provide with more oil and also rubber later on. And another thing that I want to do is a fuel silo in Volkov. So also here, we'll be able to store more fuel. And probably I can use more um, factories now to extract more fuel. That's also possible. Okay, this is the time where we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we lost 270,000 men, they lost 2,700,000. That's a little bit different. We can add another tank, as you can see. Probably two. Yes, absolutely. And in the south of Italy, of course, the, the British cannot do so much, but they're fighting. And this, this is great. This is great. Also, Greece is re still resisting. It's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay, it seems that now our civilian industry is done. Uh, we are going to build up a little bit better infrastructures where we have also our resources. And then we will build also after um, we build also some military industries. Good. Now, lessons of war. Where are you, man? Where are you? Division organization plus 5, army experience plus 10, experience, soldier loses minus 25%. And then we can give also the magic order that we will not need, but we might give it. So now you see we move to the infrastructure and the military factories. Yaroslav Gorkil are done, so we will end up having around about 117 civilian factories. I like it. The fuel silo in Volikov is almost ready. Leningrad then is working on the synthetic refinery and then streets. That's the focus that I have when I'm in a war. 
And I know I, it looks boring. Actually, it's very funny. We are building also one strategic bomber. Wonderful. And for the Mechanizir of Vanaya, so our tanks, uh, yeah, we're working on them. We will have uh, an entire division of heavy tanks ready to pierce into the German lines and help us creating a circumference and having a lot of fun. I'm wondering if I should really take a political advisor or not. Let's take Khrushchev. Because it's giving us uh, another 5% uh, uh, political power and... Uh, uh, sorry. And it's also increasing the maximum uh, command power. And increasing also the communism, which is always amazing. Isn't it? Okay, let me see the intelligence agency. Portable radius. And uh, we infiltrated the military so now we go back here and we do another mission which is stealing blueprints stealing military blueprints it will take uh, a little while but we have to do it we'll try to steal military blueprints from germany yep 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 Look at the attrition. 8% attrition in some areas. Wow. They still have some broken um, infrastructure. That, that's, that, that's a ridiculous thing. Wow. That's really bad. But I'm not complaining. Okay. So also the infrastructure... Uh, in the deep Russia are working. Of course, I do this um, in all the regions that have some resources because I will boost them as well. So we'll have more resources. I will depend less on the uh, import. And then I will build military factories there. Okay, we have lessons of war. We have a new doctrine available. Max planning plus 10%. Very good. And after the lessons of war... I could change division recovery rate minus 10%, but organization plus 5, attack on core territory plus 3, and mass maximum command plus 5, or a discounting doctrine. Division, eh, but minus organization. No, I think I will go slow down the recovery, but more organization. And now... Um, Weekly manpower and minimum training level. Okay, let's boost the manpower and let's speed up the creation of our tank divisions. And once we're done here... Oh man, come on. We start building the mills. That will be all, as you can see, in those regions. Perfect. Very good. Okay. <sighs> more metal means more weapons. Oh, let's boost the reserve speed. Let me look at the reserve speed. Plus 44%. I must uh, then go and open the fifth uh, line, the fifth column, because plus 44% is really... It's really good... Uh, it's a good value. Let's have a look at Italy. No way! No way! The Axis is winning in Italy. They're pushing the Brits back. But Africa, anyways, is still uh, English, so we are not that worried. I love to see the, that the radar station level 6 is covering also Finland from here, from Belarus. So if I look at the, at the southern, can I reach Italy from here? Nobody can reach Iran and Western Poland. Come on, it's really, it's really, it's, it's, it's really a lot. It's really a lot. Wow. Impressive. Impressive, really. 
Okay, when are the blueprints uh, ready? Theoretically, June 43. Okay, now we start the second long winter where we have fun looking at the Germans, uh, let's say, <laughs> being a little bit cold. Um, I think, okay, we, we started building uh, the military factories. Okay, and in Leningrad, we have our first synthetic um, oil, which gives us also plus one rubber. Not bad. I mean, it's it's the best we can get, so let's give it as it is. But I, I don't see the oil. What is it doing? Fuel gain from refineries, 52.8. So if I look at this, yeah, but I need to, to do more because I have a daily gain of 5,600. The refinery is giving 158. It's nothing. I absolutely need more refineries. Um, and more technology about them. Right now it's ridiculous. Anyways, let's get an extra. No, but these guys here uh, are in a position that I don't like. Let's let's create a full backline here. Far from the front, so they will not get any sort of attrition. Fine. So the tanks will stay there. What's their organization at the moment? 32, well, it's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad, I think. <sighs> Mobilization plus 15, division defense on core, on core territory, 25%. I think I will do this. It will last 720 days. I will start the order two to seven before I will start the attack. So not yet, but I will do it. Now we have 111 factories in use. That means that I still have some factories busy. Ah, probably in the intelligence. I don't know. I, I really don't know where they end up. Let's improve the infant equipment since now it doesn't cost so much. And how much in infant equipment we have? 214,000. Wonderful. Wonderful, really. Strategic bombers, we don't have enough of them. Um, I think they will be filled as soon as the military factory will be there. Yeah, we didn't start even having one. Rome has fallen. Rome has fallen. <laughs> it's so fun to see Italy doing that. It's so funny. It's so funny, Italy. Okay, we start building the military factories now. Wonderful. And in theory, we should have much more uh, resources. For example, we don't need one aluminium factory. Great. And the commissar's organization, okay, after that, okay, now we need a lot of, of this aluminium. After that, we move to, uh, to Leningrad. And we research. I wanted to see when they try to attack the difference in terms of uh, preparation. But until I don't have at least 12 divisions of tanks, I'm not going to attack. And, and strategic bombers uh, uh, destroying their great thing. Okay, why don't do this? Uh, because I need uh, less than 5% surrender. Fine. It means to wage war. Okay, fine. Fuel from refineries plus 50%. Let's do some other refinery uh, where I have the space. Krasnodar, for example. You can do a level 3, by the way. Let's do it. 
I, I want to be sure that when I will uh, attack, I will have enough oil. And I think I, I, I'm full of oil, but you never know. Wonderful. Let's see the situation in Italy. No, that's crazy. Italy has lost 1.8 million men. They are doing very, very, very bad. Very, very, very bad. Also, Yugoslavia uh, has been... Wow. Not sure. I think I might try to, to, to push back. It's January. I might consider to wait till spring and then to attack. But will I have... When, I, when will I have this one? In July 43. Poor, ridiculous. And this one in June. Yeah, in summer I might consider an attack. I don't have much more. So what I could do now... What I could do here... Is the following. So those are the, the second fallback line, yeah. Those are the first one. I might delete this line. And I might create a one defensive line. Making sure that they are not pushing or attacking me. Oh, finally, the military factories are coming into play because I will need I need suddenly more uh, rubber and more aluminium, and that's amazing. That's amazing. Fine. Let's go back here. So I'm going to leave my army around the around the border and then start the first plan uh, advance plan it's gonna be nice those fighters are now becoming more reliable and fast and good weapons Good. Let's build the level, uh, the version A now of our fighters. Good. Another thing that we want to do is now to build level four uh, railways all over our uh, front line, so that five will come, but later. <laughs> Uh, so that we will have more resources. Okay, good. And this will happen once uh, the refinery and the military factories are done. Because those military factories will allow me to fulfill the line of the strategic bomber. Yes, uh, let's put them to 10. I want to have more strategic bombers. And uh, uh, the fighters, <laughs> we need a lot of them. Because I want to have also the possibility to uh, then take the control of, of the, the other Poland. But, it, but so far so good. So far so good. Let's issue again the war bonds. Well, Italy looks really bad. Italy looks really bad, guys. Uh, I, think, I think this is going to change a little bit the balance and uh, I might really be able to attack this summer uh, with a good advantage. What I'm not sure if I like is that I don't have enough uh, resources to build my aircrafts, particularly strategic bombers and fighters. Well, for the tanks, yes, I think that 30 military factories are more than enough and also the rest is fine. By the way, I will have only 10 military factories more, so I will not be able to fill the tank, but it's okay. 
and when, then we need a new propaganda, which is the, the one that is speeding up the, the, the improvement of our railways, because we have also to improve that. And for the strategic bomber at the moment, we have 20 strategic bombers. I would like to have at least 500 of them before starting my missions. The fuel is always a tricky. Uh, it's always tricky. I think that my uh, the, the issue might be the fleet. Let's move the fleet here because I think they are consuming a lot of uh, of oil when they move. Actually, the consumption is zero. So let let me current daily consumption five six thousand five hundred, where air ah of course, it's, it's not it's not the fleet it's the, the the airplanes yeah sure. Let's give now the offensive plan. This is worse. So the first line should uh, be draw like this. You know, in an attempt to take the control of our territory and free Warsaw. And then we would continue in a different way. But this is our first plan. And apparently it seems that we would be able to perform it with one army. Crazy. Crazy. Fine. It seems that Italy really lost the war. I mean, the UK now have the total control of Italy and Germany cannot push further. Yeah, we should really try to attack. We should really try to attack its march, so I think it's time. I think it's time and uh, um, here if I take Minsk, for example, I will be able to take the control of this, of this um, supply node. Oh my goodness. Yeah, taking Minsk would be the first idea. And then this other city. And then here. We need to bomb the railways though and improve ours. So now with the military factories, we have Kursk with still five factories to be built. Then we have Krasnodar that is preparing the, the, the refineries. The rest is all going into our railways, which we we'll provide really with a lot of good logistic. Let me see if I have the uh, assigned the, tank, uh, the trucks everywhere. Yes, it looks like. I really need those tanks before I can attempt a strike. Let's speed up a little bit. Let's wait for the summer. And let's take also the night vision. Let's not forget to use all the bonuses that we have. So no step back. Um, it will give us more attack. Okay. Germany is fully decrypted. Um, let me see if we can use some tactics like Blitz, well-planned attack, yes, attacker tactic damage plus 15%, overwhelming fire. Now let's take the well-planned attack as a preferred uh, tactic. Um, they lost 2.1 million men here. I want to wait till... We finish the propaganda because it will take the transport is the sibling of the Red Army on one end. And probably we should you know, fight till the last drop of blood, something like this. Wonderful. Great. 
great. Now we have five tanks. I like it. We have five tanks and the others are coming soon. I think we can try. I think we can try. Um, we said we start in Belarus. We try to attack Minsk. We can take this airport. We have 200 fighters more. Interception and air superiority. And here... Where is it? Because there's support 590. Wow. Strategic bombers. Here we go. I think I have another group of strategic bombers in Moscow. I think I will put them together and start doing the strategic bombardment in um, in Belarus. Yeah? Belarus. So we give the order. Strategic bombing. Buildings, infrastructure and industry. Good. Um, so due to the fact that we have also much more here in terms of closer support, we take also this and this and we give the logistics strike only good 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 so now in uh, in belarus uh, uh, we start bombing we start preparing the the attack and we take also this this five tanks uh, um i think we will try to get minsk from the planes yeah, those are marshes I think we should really try to create here one uh, one line and I want to put here some transport plane some meaning all of them and giving them as air supply so those five tanks will uh, of pop of will be supplied by air and we try to we, we, we try to create uh, we try to attack here and create some encirclements and we start destroying the Germans' divisions if possible. But as you can see, we have a big problem with fuel, so we will have to import it soon. And that's a pity because I thought that the infrastructure would help me. Now we have the oil processing, it's, it's not bad, but I thought that the infrastructure would help me. Probably yes, but not completely. Actually, I need to take the fuel. Yeah, I need to take the fuel refining. That's the technology that I needed. Okay. Fighter level three. Here we go. Huh. Let's stop importing from the UK because it's just no, not necessary. Um, we import all the aluminium from the US, and we use it. Oh, by the way, now we are just uh, fixing the, uh, the, the the infrastructure. It seems that we 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 are done with very good. It seems, it seems that we are done with the railways. I guess it's time. I guess it's time, and we will see the attack in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you appreciated. Be ready because in the next episode, Russia will start the counter offensive and we will try and see if our army is able to cope and to, to face the Germans. I think so, but we will have to be careful. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and see you next time.